What's going on guys, Unknown Player here and today I'm bringing you guys another Advanced Warfare early gameplay. Today we're on the map Riot playing some Hardpoint, which is of course returning from Black Ops 2. A lot of you guys are big fans of the Hardpoint game mode, I myself really enjoy it and it's good to see it back so you can enjoy that gameplay and the weapon we're using is the IMR which is actually a printing rifle, the one that's been discussed a lot in the pre-release builds and when it's first announced. This weapon is very unique in the sense that it essentially has infinite ammo so what we'll do is we'll print a uh, ammunition for itself and uh, it will basically uh, never run out if you use it conservatively so you'll notice on the bottom the number that shows on my ammo counter that shows my uh, overall amount of ammo that will slowly start to increase and uh, slowly count up because the weapon is actually it, I've forgotten the exact terminology but it's some sort of uh, matter that's put into the gun and it basically creates actual bullets out of that matter and it gives itself its own ammunition and uh, a lot of people have uh, speculated this weapon to be the most overpowered weapon in advanced warfare currently and uh, they relate it to the MAA1 from Black Ops 2 because it's a burst rifle and uh, obviously in addition to the whole infinite ammo thing if you wait long enough you will eventually start building up ammo you never have to run, uh, worry about running out or having scavenger it will have infinite ammo but it does have quite good damage it tends to kill in one burst at the start of the game I was using suppressor and just the iron sights I highly wouldn't recommend it I found it very very weak with it I don't know why it's just one of those weapons that doesn't fit with the suppressor and uh, as opposed to this one right here which I'm now going to switch over to this is the HBR A3 which you've probably seen on this channel before one of my favorite weapons to use and one of my favorite setups to use this one with a suppressor is still amazing but for some reason the IMR is really really weak and you only saw a little bit of highlights there because it was very rare that I got a few kills with the suppressor and it took a good few bursts but if you actually take the suppressor off it is a very very strong weapon and uh, definitely one of the strongest obviously there's only three uh, assault rifles on show at this current build of the game the BAL 27 this HBR A3 I'm using right here and the IMR which you just saw and they're all very strong uh, weapons they're all very very good and uh, neither of them I would consider overpowered or weak they're all very very good assault rifles and they're all good in their own merits to be honest this is kind of like an all round weapon the battle 27 I would say is definitely more of a uh, close range weapon you'll see me pick up like a uh, special version of it right here I believe this is obsidian steed and you can see uh, the fire rate increases as you shoot it and uh, this is definitely very good for close range and uh, the fire rate obviously increasing is going to make it good for close quarters combat HBR is just an all round all good assault rifle very solid damage very good range and the thing I like most about it is definitely the accuracy. It's got very, very good accuracy. It doesn't sway too much. And of course, the IMR is your burst rifle, and it's got very good damage per shot. Most of the time, you should be able to get a one-shot kill if you have the burst in kind of the upper body. But as I said, if you put the suppressor on it, it's very, very weak. But those are the assault rifles. And uh, I'm really looking forward to seeing some of the other assault rifles uh, as we get close to the final build of the game. And uh, of course, I'm going to be playing it again, Advanced Warfare again at Eurogamer very, very soon. So I want to know from you guys if there's any weapons or any perks, any anything you want me to check out pretty much. And uh, let you guys know about because so obviously I'm going to be playing a uh, more updated build of the game. I'm not sure whether it will be different. But if there's any information you want me to get you guys, obviously when I was playing uh, at uh, Gamescom, I was more kind of getting the core mechanics of the game, just getting kills. I wasn't really worrying about, worrying about kill streaks. My kill streaks on uh, pretty much for the most time with just the vulture which is the laser beam and the uav which you've seen and i think at Eurogame when i play it, i'm definitely going to put on some more kill streaks i'm going to try and get the best ones i'm going to see uh, just more experimenting i'm going to do the laser weapons as i've said and uh, generally see if i can get more gameplay kind of like a broader range of the game so uh, hopefully you guys are looking forward to that let me know what you want to see and what information you want me to find out for you guys and uh, of course follow me on twitter i'll be tweeting out lots of information while i'm at Eurogame. i maybe i can meet some of you guys as well i'll probably be around the advanced warfare booth most of the time but uh, yeah hopefully Hope you enjoyed this gameplay and a little bit of look at the map Riot. Uh, if you enjoyed it, give it a like rating and uh, subscribe for future Advanced Warfare videos. And I'll see you guys later.